welcome back again to my channel. So today um, we will do a video about how we met. Last time I did a video how we met, but in Tagalog, it's Taglish, I think. Hmm. I can't remember now. Long time ago. I think two months ago, three More months ago. Yeah. No, yeah, three months ago. Sorry. And I did it by myself, but this time we will do it together. We will. Yes. So. Okay. So, so we'll start how we met Lovey. Yeah, we met, right. Back in June, July. June 2015. June 2015, that's right. Okay. Um, I was away working. Um, I go away a little bit with work, a fair yeah. bit actually. And then I was working hard one day, uh, and that night I uh, went out for dinner, came back to my uh, hotel, and I used to use a function, uh, uh, an app called WeChat. Yes. And on WeChat, there's a functionality where you can get your phone you and shake, 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 and that just allows you to chat to anyone. It finds some random person around the world, some random yeah. person, male, female, yeah. Young, and that old, time, I, I did a shake to. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, but in Filipino land up in Manila, and a little old Australian land back in Adelaide, whoosh, boom, they came together. <laughs> they came together, and somehow our phones got matched together, yeah. and. This young woman came up on the screen. I went, oh, she's nice. She's pretty hot. I thought, okay, she, she, she might talk to me. I didn't think. I actually didn't think she'd talk to me because I'm a bit older. And I thought, yes. well, maybe she won't. So I think I said, hello, how are you? Hope you're having a good day. Something like that. And I went, bing. And then it off. I saw that and then came down I from replied. Manila. You replied. I went, oh, that's nice. So we chatted a bit that night and... We chatted for quite a while, I think. Just a few messages backwards and forwards, yes. and then um, I think I said something like, "Look, I'm pretty tired. Sorry, I need to go to yeah. bed because I'm tired. I've got an early start tomorrow morning. Do you mind if I chat you tomorrow?" And you said yes. So then we started chatting the next day. The and next day and the following day. What did we talk about? I can't remember. Oh, we talk about um. Like, oh, just about my, my job, what I did. No, I didn't no. ask about your job. Don't tell me. I, oh, okay. No, okay. I didn't ask I normally about would it. Say that. Yeah, but I can't remember what we talked about. This is, like, this is years ago. No, we just talk about uh, how old are you? That's right. Uh, where are you from? It's just like that. That's right. So we started chatting away. Yeah. And that went on for a few days and for a week or two, and I thought yeah. this girl's really quite nice and friendly, and she seems to be. Liking my little stupid jokes and my little silly comments, and she seemed to like it. And we mm -hmm. sort of started chatting away, and then I think after a few weeks, I thought, well, actually, the first thing I wanted to do after chatting a little bit, yeah. I actually wanted to make sure she was a real person, not some sort of computer bot from somewhere in some ridiculous country, some scam, because obviously yeah. there's scams out there. So I think after how long was it after before you said we should really FaceTime or chat on the a video chat just was it after a couple of weeks or something? Oh, I can't yeah, remember. a couple of weeks because yeah, because yeah. we're chatting a bit, fair bit, and I chatting I, and um, voice call. Voice. I just wanted to make sure she was some 60, 70, 80 year old person and sitting in some office somewhere just sending me these texts because you hear about these stories about these scams. Yes, so, yeah. um, yeah, I think yeah. then we just said no. Nope. Let's have a chat. So I think and then we said, well, should we just FaceTime, FaceTime. or whatever it was? On, I think it's on the I WeChat. It's, a, it's WeChat, on, it was yeah, on WeChat. WeChat. So WeChat, and and I, as I went, you know, video call. I looked at my phone. Went, oh, this person is real, and this <laughs> is real. the woman. This is the woman that I was speaking to, which was lovely. It was just yeah. lovely to see her, and uh, I really liked. Mm -hmm. Well, tell me, what did you like about me when we were talking first? What what sort of things did you like about me? This is when she makes me feel good. Come on, talk to me. What did you like about me? <laughs> a bit me? nervous. <laughs> what the hell? This should come from the heart. This should not be a hard question. No, 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 no. It's not a hard question. Oh, um, I feel good chatting to you. Nice. Good. Um, you seem so nice. You always talk to me every day. I did. Chat, calls. We did. We yeah, did. and I love that. Mm, it's lovely, wasn't it? About you. Mm. Because you always put effort. I did. Put effort in. And yes. so did you. Yeah. yeah. That's why over over time I feel so comfortable talking to you. We did. Yeah. Mm. 
And I like when I was talking to you that, I mean, one, you're pretty hot and gorgeous. I mean, I'll be honest, I mean, it's very hot and gorgeous. But two, you're very mature. Um, I couldn't date, go out with some woman unless they can have a decent conversation. Yes, I like to have fun and joke and have play games and all that sort of stuff, but also I like to be pretty serious at times and just actually have a decent chat, whether it be about the country or politics or travel or whatever. So I knew, I worked out very quickly, and I think also because you were a mother, that you actually had yeah. a child, that actually made me really happy because I realised then that you've had some good days and you've had some bad days. As parents, I mean, I've got three kids, you have good days and bad days. And yeah. But after me realising you had a child at a young age, I realised that you would have had some tough situations. So that was good mm-hmm. because it, to me, made me realise that you're probably a bit more mature compared to some other girls your age, which is good. So, so we started um, FaceTime each other quite a bit, and then after a few weeks, I thought this woman is really nice. I mean, but like, what do I do? I live in Adelaide, Adelaide. Philippines, it's a nine hour flight, it's like 800 kilometers away, it's yeah. it's so far, and I, I, it's not like I can get in the plane and sort of, you know, it's not like going from Manila to one hour away, it's a long flight, and I thought, well what do I do, but I thought, I really like her, and we're getting sort of very friendly, and we're talking, and we're communicating beautifully, and so I actually said to her on one chat, look, would you be interested this is after a few weeks, I think about six, seven weeks or something. You know, would you be interested yeah. in me coming out to Manila for a week to say hello? Yeah, well, and then sort of see yeah. what happens. Yeah, yeah, when he said that, I was so excited. I said, oh. This. You were surprised as well, because you didn't think that someone would come and see you. I remember yes. you saying that. You didn't think that someone would fly no. so far just to come and just see Just to see me. Yeah, I was so excited. Yeah. And you didn't believe it until I booked the ticket. And yes. I booked the ticket. When I, I saw the ticket, and I, said, I, I said, I'm going to do oh, it. Oh, this is serious. Yes. He's so serious to because see Because it me. took me a few days to book it because I remember at that time I was particularly busy at work. It wasn't that I was lazy. It's just more, yeah. I just didn't have time. And I sat down one day and went, right, I've got to book this ticket. And I took a photo and sent a screenshot. And I remember you go, oh, my God. Like, yes. You're coming. Oh, my I said, God. I said, I said, if you're not at the airport... I'll be disappointed, I'll be very disappointed, but I said, I'm coming to Manila on that day, so hopefully you're there. Yes. So we did that, and then we started talking about what we're going to do, and I said to Dinah, I've never been to the Philippines before, I've travelled a lot, a lot through Asia and Europe and America, but I've never been to the Philippines. So I said, what can we do? She said, well, why don't we just stay in Manila for one or two days, I'll show you around the sites of Manila, and then from there, we could go to one of the islands, and I said... Like, what are you talking about? Where's these islands? Like, so I looked on the map, I remember Googling it, and you mentioned, I think it was Boracay? Yeah, the Boracay. Yeah. So the Boracay is a very special place for us because, how can I say? Well, it's where we, we met, obviously, in Manila. In Manila. Airport. Well, I've got to tell you one funny story. Mm. I arrived in Manila that night after we booked the ticket, and I arrived in Manila, it was quite funny. I was a bit nervous, I was actually... I was getting off the plane, <laughs> and obviously I recognised, and I was hoping, I, I thought, God, I hope she recognises me, because I hope I look the same, and, and as we saw each other, it was so sweet, we saw each other, we gave each other a little peck, do we kiss each other on the lips or the cheek? I can't remember. I can't remember. No, I think we just be a lot, a little pride. I know, I hug you. You hug me, that's right, you hug me, but also Diana had one of her cousins with her. Big strong yeah, guy, my cousin. Which is fair enough. Because, because it's my first time. Absolutely. And it's not because I'm nervous to see him. It's just I had no idea about um, just picking in case. up someone at That's the airport. That's right. That's right. And also, I've got two daughters as well. You know, they're, they're adults, and I. <clears> you've got to be careful. And I'm a hundred percent supportive. But I saw Diana and I saw her cousin walk behind. He's big guy. Like, Whoa! But that's okay. We got on very well. So we sat in the taxi, we got a cab or a grab to the, the hotel. And no, I book a, I rent a, no, not book, I rent um, a van or something. A van. A van. That time. And I was sitting there and I felt really comfortable. I mean, this sounds really corny, but I felt yeah. really comfortable and I sort of put my hand on her lap and I held, I held her hand. I thought, oh my God, like this is, yeah. like from the first this time we went, like, oh my God, like I was, I was holding her and I thought, wow, this is. Really, I was getting a bit emotional at the time. Like, 
it was just because we talked for so long and I thought, wow, this is really good. And then we, went, we stayed at the hotel for a couple of nights because you showed me around uh, Man uh, Manila. Manila, uh, I think just for a day. A day, yeah. Just, and it was really nice. Like, yeah, Fort, we, we, Fort Santiago yeah. and it was nice. I really... Yeah, we stayed in Manila for two nights. That's right. And then after that, we went to Capiz to see my family. And we stayed there for one night. They wanted to make sure that I was genuine. Yeah. <laughs> they wanted to, and I remember seeing a couple of Diana's aunties, and one of them in particular said, I can't remember who it was, just like, Are you serious? Are you genuine? I went, Yes, I am. And also my sister. And your sister, yeah, your sister, <laughs> your younger sister had a really good conversation, like, arms up, like, who, you know, this and that, and who are you? And you're here to see Diana, this is this genuine? You're not just one of these. Foreigners coming over, I said, no, 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 I said, it's not me. I said, oh, I'm totally genuine. I really like your sister, and I hope that we can develop our relationship, which we did. And we had, we then went after that meeting of family in the village near Yeah, Capiz. after that, yeah. Uh, we went to Boracay to spend the rest of... That week. We were yeah. there for four or five nights, yeah, I, think I think. four nights. Four nights. I can't remember nights. And in a long time. it was amazing. We, from the very first time we went there, and... We got a really well. Don't worry, we had a couple of arguments, a okay, couple of discussions. I think we will, we will tell them the story, what yeah, we story. Did. We had, we had a, misunderstandings. a misunderstanding. That's okay. Right. Um, that night we were walking, looking for a um, restaurant to eat dinner. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, we found uh, a restaurant. It's a pizza, yeah. Italian pizza place. Uh, it? I can't remember, whatever. I can remember. Yeah, you can remember, but I can't remember. So. How can I say? <laughs> we had a misunderstanding, no? No, we had a misunderstanding, but before that, we were just, um, we ordered the food and then we we're eating. And I'm so quiet mm -hmm. because I'm so hungry. When I'm hungry, I'm quiet and I, I want to eat my food. Dangerous. I didn't know that at the time. Because, uh, well, that time he didn't know. Didn't know, know it. that's right. And he gets a bit shitty. Well, she's very quiet. It wasn't talking much. I know your English wasn't perfect. No, four or five years. my English it was still is, okay. Yes or no? <laughs> but you were still learning English, and I should have been a bit more sympathetic. And look, we just had a misunderstanding. And then, did who stormed off? You or me? What? Who said? What did we say to each other? Something. Um. We finished the dinner, and then we're walking. We're walking back to um hotel, and he's. He's walking so fast and I'm just walking behind him because he's a bit grumpy and I don't know what's happening. We're just eating. And we're just <laughs> and still getting to know each other, that's right. And we had that misunderstanding and then yeah. we went back to the hotel and he went outside because he wants to read something outside but it's a bit shitty that time. But I understand. And then I think we, we, we chat a bit. We did. And I'm explaining myself that I'm so quiet because I'm hungry. And what did we say? I think. But then, but then I came back to the room and you weren't there. I'm not. I'm not she in the went, room. She left the room. No, I'm in the room, but no, no, I'm no. outside the balcony, hiding on the balcony, which I didn't know. And I just said. I said to him, where, I will. Where are I you? Will, Walk outside until go, go morning. For, that's what you go for walk. <laughs> and I said you can't. I said you got to be very careful. You're a young woman. You got to be careful. Whether you're in Sydney, London, or Manila or Boracay, you have to be careful. And I just said this is ridiculous. I said come back to the room. If you're not comfortable in the room, you can sleep on the bed. I'll sleep on the couch. That's fine. But come back to the room because it's safe. And you didn't for a long time. And in the end, I said, look, you, I said, what am I going to say to your mum? If you get lost or if something happens, I feel responsible. This is the first time in the Philippines. Come back. Let's talk about it. And then what happened? <laughs> and then he went back um, in our room and I saw him. I'm just looking outside the, mm. the balcony. Is it balcony? Yeah, the balcony, yeah. The balcony. Um... He's looking for me. I was. Well, well, I can't stand. And then I went inside and I said, I'm here. Mm. And what he did is he 
love me with the pillow because yes, the pillow. Mm. Mm. I kept hitting her on the bum or something. Yeah. Yes. Saying so you're so cheeky. And then we had a good laugh, and yes. actually that was really good because it made us really understand that yeah. there is a bit of a cultural difference, obviously, with you know an Asian Filipino versus an Aussie English person. And, yeah. and then, but we also both committed to each other to say, hey, if we have misunderstandings, let's try and fix it fast. I hate tension in relationships. Uh -huh. yeah, I don't I want tension. Yeah. I don't want crap. And um, but uh, that was good. That was a funny story. Yeah, yeah was, it's just a funny good. story for us. <laughs> we won't forget that one. And, but then yeah. and then from there, we sort of spent the rest of the week in Boracay, walking up and down the beach. It was a bit beautiful. We did swim. diving. We did some scuba. It's a shame now they've shut down the scuba at um, Boracay, which yeah, is a shame know. because it was beautiful. We went there. It's the first time you went scuba diving, yes. and we just loved it together. And, and then after that, we finished the week. Uh, we came back to Manila, and then I came back to Australia. Yeah. And um, oh my god, at the airport, we were both so sad. Like yeah, we only he met. Cried we cried so we, much. We talked for three months, then we met in Manila. Yeah, well, you didn't cry. I did. Yeah, I was more emotional. Yeah, it was so emotional. I was very, and I thought, wow. And I got on the plane. I felt so sad, but I had to come back for my ticket, visa. Had to come back to work. Yes. And wow, did we realise that we had a connection? Then we had a connection. We thought, and then I didn't come. That was the longest we didn't see each other because I didn't get back until oh, yeah, September January to January January 16. So that's four months. 16? That's late. No, yeah. January 16. Was it? I saw you again. When did I come back? No, it doesn't matter. But... It doesn't matter. It was <laughs> it's four or five months or whatever it was. And then, but we, we obviously believed in each other. But um, now our love is truly made in heaven, isn't it? Come here. Yeah, Mwah. yeah so and, that, um, that's how we met. She's my little babe. Next year will be my little wife. Yeah, so that's how we met. That's guys. how we met. And we chat, just shaky shake. We always said for a long time when we get married, we're going to send WeChat a present or a gift or something. I don't know how you do that, but I will. I actually, I will email them one day. I will. When we're married, I'll say, hey, through your shake, 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 I met my future wife and got married. It's a beautiful story because so many internet. Relationships don't work, and I accept that. Yes. But ours is a true story where it actually can work, and it did. Yeah. So yeah. How so we met? I Good. hope you enjoy listening about <laughs> how we met, perhaps. And yeah. So next next time we will talk about different topic again. Yeah, we like doing challenges sometimes, different topic. So I will close the blog perhaps and hope you enjoyed this video about how we met and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't um, subscribed yet just hit the subscribe button and the bell button so you will notify every time I post a new video and we'll see you in the next one perhaps. Enjoy life and take care perhaps. Bye! Bye!